Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lucas, the art teacher at Chustin and March Elementary. Today we're going to do a project involving geometric shapes. And geometric shapes are shapes that have names. And geometric shapes are just about everywhere we look. So find yourself some cardboard, perhaps a cereal box, a straight edge, uh, some crayons, and a pair of scissors, and something circular like the lid of a container and make some lines on your cardboard. You're going to cut them out and then place them on your table in a pleasing composition and then find a piece of paper and place the piece of paper on top of your shapes and you can rub on top of your paper and the shapes will show through your paper. Then you can add all sorts of other colors and you'll have a beautiful geometric shape design. It's Mrs. Joseph. Today I'm going to go on a scavenger hunt inside my house to look for objects that are symmetrical. So I'm going to have to look for shapes that have one side that exactly mirrors the other. I'll have to visualize a line that divides a symmetrical shape in half. Sometimes an object might have more than one line of symmetry. Let's go see what I find. and March Elementary Schools. I can't wait to show you the art I made this week. So just like Mrs. Joseph, I'm gonna go on a scavenger hunt, but I'll be looking for organic shapes instead. Wish me luck. Organic shapes are natural shapes. Shapes of things found in nature, such as plants and animals, even mountains, rivers, and lakes. Organic shapes have free form, which means that they're not like geometric shapes. They're not as uniform or perfect. These are some of the things that I collected in my scavenger hunt. I picked my favorite piece and organized all the others around it to create a mandala. I also had a lot of fun creating a portrait. I enjoy using nature as an inspiration for my art. Here's one of my favorite quotes that I illustrated some time ago. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Frobase from Palmer Elementary and we're going to talk about three-dimensional shapes today. When a shape is not flat and has a third dimension of depth, we call that form. Forms take up space. Forms can be implied by artists. That means it only looks like it's three-dimensional, but it's actually just a flat 2D drawing or painting. Real form, like in a sculpture, is when an artist creates actual three-dimensional forms out of whatever material they are using to create their art. And if an artwork is 3D, you can look at it from many angles, from the front, the side, the back, or even the top. For my project, I'm going to use some three-dimensional shapes with these paper tubes or cylinders that I've been saving up. First, let me show you a few ways that I bent, cut, twisted, taped, and made these three-dimensional cylinders into different types of shapes for my sculpture. Then a little tape and glue and Here's what I came up with for my three-dimensional form project. I'm pretty happy with it. I might even want to paint it later. 
Hello, it's Mrs. Woodland from Tracy. This week, I chose to do the composite shape activity. Composite shapes are made by joining two or more shapes together. A tangram is an ancient Chinese puzzle made of seven pieces. Those pieces can be combined to make lots of different pictures. You will start by cutting out the pattern pieces. I'm placing two sheets of paper underneath my pattern so that everyone in my family can play. You may want to ask an adult for help with this step. When you're done cutting out the pattern, separate the pieces by color. Everyone should have the same seven pieces. Can you make the rabbit plain and fox? What else will you make? Positive and negative shapes. Positive shape is the actual shape or object itself. Negative shape is the empty space where the shape was. Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Hall. Week two's art lesson is about shape. I chose the positive and negative shape project. The positive shape is the actual shape itself. The negative shape is the space where the shape was. I'm going to tilt my camera down so you can see my workspace. I'm going to take a square. I didn't have colored paper, so I just used a crayon to color it in. I'm going to fold it in half, and on the folded side, draw half of a shape. That gives me my positive and my negative space once I cut it out. Then you can have fun creating all kinds of geometric design pictures or try some objects as well. Have a great day. Don't forget to share your work with your art teacher in Seesaw for grades K to 2 and in Google Classroom for grades 3 to 5.